Tuesday. Aaron, Matt Vaskersian here. Thanks for the time, man. Uh, dude, it has been a crazy week for you, right? I mean, not only did you yeah. have the great start that we heard about, uh, you signed a contract extension, you got engaged over the break. Congratulations to all that stuff. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's definitely uh, been been a really big week and a uh, whole lot of fun. So let me ask you the uh, jerk friend question right now then. Rank those three things in order. Uh, engagements first, no doubt. Uh, second would probably be contract and I guess third be in the game. Yeah. You had to say that too, by the way. Well, well played. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work by yeah. you. Hey, uh, let's let's talk about that last start. Um, when you have punch outs like that, you strike out nine. Obviously, you're feeling good. Um, did you feel like it was getting chase, or were, were, were you able to get them, the Rockies, that day to swing at strikes and you were good in the zone? Yeah, I think we were, you know, Se Sevi and I were his first time throwing uh, together this year, and uh, I think we just had a good mix going all night long, uh, throwing a lot of strikes early in the count and getting guys to two strikes as fast as we could and uh, just kind of executing executing better uh, with two strikes, which I hadn't done um, the past couple starts. So is that the kind of thing now after you have a big workload like that? Uh, you're at 111 pitches on Monday. What what is the next bullpen session look like for you and, and what do you do differently, if anything, before your next start? Yeah, just try to keep the, uh, the same the same amount of workload, um, keep everything recovering well. Um, you know, we're, we're get, taking today off and then we're going to throw a bullpen in uh, Boston there on uh, Friday. But uh, just, just sticking with the same mindset that we always try to keep here, and that's just uh, make, making that 15, 20 minute throwing program um, as tentful as you can. Most of you guys, the throw left, a little different. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, superstitious. Are you one of those wacky left handers, or are you kind of a right hander in a left hander's body? No, I think I think if you ask uh, ask anyone, uh, I think I'm people people see me as a wacky lefty. So uh, <laughs> I I, <laughs> I kind of I guess you know people people point certain things out. And I'm like, yeah, that was kind of that was kind of left-handed of me. But uh, yeah, definitely definitely not right-handed at all. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we we got some glimpses into your personality when you were in the minors, and we have this piece of video that we found of you with I think some minor league teammates. Tell us first of all who's in this with you. And I guess the job was for you to rank Wisconsin oh food. What did Awful. you like and what did you dis? By the way, the Kringle is good. That's good stuff. What did you like the most? Uh, the cho I remember we had chocolate milk. You see, you, you see the glasses there? The chocolate milk was like unbelievable. Uh, it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. And the, uh, the worst, I think, is this fish called herring. Yeah. And we ate it on a cracker. And I'm like, dude, I is this a joke like this is this is awful <laughs> I mean and they're like no it's like a delicacy here I'm like well this is this is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth so I think it was pickled yeah that, too. Was, that was a fun time they give you pickled yeah pickled herring. yeah yeah pickled pickled herring oh it's so bad yeah so that's, bad that's rough yeah so so with the uh, with yeah. the new contract um, and if this is too personal you just tell me to you know put it in my hat yeah. was there a purchase I mean what was the big thing you treated yourself to if anything when you signed that deal haven't done anything quite yet. Um, still, still waiting for 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 the big chunk to come through, I suppose. But um, I'm th I'm thinking right now I'm I'm kind of set on a uh, '67 Chevelle with like white white uh, paint and blue blue leather interior. Oh, dude, I think would look would look good. Talking my language so here, we'll see. muscle car yeah. from the late '60s. Yeah, I, I mean I, yeah. I know a guy that could get yeah. you a '69 fastback Mustang too. The Mustang too, if you're interested in that. I'm down. I'm okay. down. Uh, put 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 us in touch, maybe. We have another suggestion for you, and this did not come from me, but the suggestion was made, and I think it works after seeing the video. Maybe some golf instruction could be in order. Are you are you still hitting the links? What happened here, by the way? Oh my gosh, you guys come up with all these. Look at this. That was so <laughs> long ago. I've gotten so much better now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what this video is on. Is this on Facebook? Where I didn't know this was still around. No, I think that we. <laughs> I guess it you off. can find anything we, on the internet. We ripped it off of your uh, inactive MySpace page. Oh no. Yeah, Tom was Man, one of your yeah, friends that, on that. Yeah, that was. 
Yeah, great. 2015 great. Uh, was that was that footage. We have some better stuff to show, Ash. Come on, <laughs> show the other stuff that yeah. we have. Like there, there is actually a much more flattering video of you that we found from the golf world. Is there not? Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, there's this. Oh my gosh. This is all. The, I think this is all like three days apart. Well, that's the same tree. That's that's a good swing. That's a good swing. <laughs> yeah. That's an epic. I cannot flip believe too. you guys have these. Yeah, this is hey, unbelievable. Here's something else I haven't we seen have. these videos in forever. I'm dying to ask you this, Aaron, because um, as we were just visiting during the commercial, your your uncle Andy is one of my all time favorites. We spent some time in San Diego together, pitched in the big leagues uh -huh. for 15 years. Not only was he really good, good dude, and nobody could yeah, awesome. sweat gravy like Uncle Andy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> your uncle, he, he, he'd finish a bullpen and he'd have to change shirts. Are you this yeah. sweaty? Are I, you, do you lather like same this? Same way. The same way. Really? Same way. I was, uh, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. We just sweat, I guess. Um, <laughs> I actually had my little brother in town this past weekend, and I was bringing him to the field early, and uh, we were throwing out here in the outfield. And, I mean, this kid, he was, I'm like, dude, are like, are you, are you going to be okay? Like you, you're, you're, we're losing a lot of water right now. Like this is not good. <laughs> and then uh, he was actually here on the day I signed uh, my contract, and I had him put a collared shirt on and everything. And he went and changed into my truck, and he came back and he's completely sweated through the blue collared shirt I gave him. It's like turned black. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we're all just uh, sweaty people when it comes to working out. And it's okay. It's okay now though. You can go buy another shirt. Tell him to keep it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, we've yeah, got a couple go. more questions for you on our hot plate here, if you don't mind. This is food-related stuff because the pregame spread, of Perfect. course, uh, relates to eating and, and what you guys do before and after games. If the starters go Absolutely. out to dinner of the Milwaukee Brewers, you guys as a group, who picks up the check? Gosh, I guess we got to do a starters dinner first, but um, I'd say Burns is responsible for that one. Yeah. Probably. Probably the probably, guy. With, probably Corbin. Yeah, the guy with the Cy Young. You got to pay. I, I yeah. think that's fair. Yeah, you got to pick it up. Pick if it you're up. if you're on the grill on a holiday, what is it that you're cooking? I'm cooking a uh, filet mignon, uh, maybe some Brussels sprouts on there. Um, I also do scalloped potatoes. Um, yeah, probably probably that. Solid. Probably Very that. good. Last one yeah. for you here. Yeah. In the NL Central, in your division. Where is the best pregame spread? Which clubhouse? Dang, uh, probably, probably Wrigley, or Saint. Yeah, probably Wrigley. Wow. Yeah, they they always got good food. Yeah. Times have changed. We they always are, got good food in Wrigley. Our production yeah. staff. We were all guessing you were going to say Pittsburgh, but uh, score one for Wrigley Field. <laughs> Very good. Hey, yeah. Ash, uh, yeah. congrats on, on a lot of things, man. Your your performance, Thank you. your new deal, your engagement. Way to go. We appreciate the time. What does Vassallo have you doing next? Are you going to do an autograph signing at George Webb right before the game, or, or what's the next stop for you? <laughs> uh, who knows what, what, what Mike's got lined up for yeah. me, but I'm sure it's something, so so we'll go find out. Yeah, he'll, ha he'll have a, ca a card table set up in the cold and flu aisle at Probably CVS so. for 20 minutes for you to sign yes. autographs. So go get them. Thanks, man. <laughs> Way to go. True. This is true. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks.